They invited me to Spain because the first thing that struck me was that she drives very slowly, like really slowly. We are a big manufacturer of aluminum profiles and we cover the entire process of the, of the extrusion. I drive such things. We're talking about a, a big company of 55 million uh, revenue. Guys, hello. Today we arrived at one of the exhibitions called Glass Stage. Now let's go to various stands, converse, observe what systems are in Canada, what types of glass are present and so forth. It will be very interesting, so be sure to like it and we continue the company, which is called Prologue Extrusion. The company is headquartered in Spain. They do not have a representation or branch office in Canada. I have already talked a little here. They want to conquer other countries from Spain and provide their products. We will now observe the systems they possess. Manuel, inform me, I am aware of numerous systems, but this is my initial encounter with your systems. Tell us about your company, its size, products, number of employees and countries where you distribute your products to. Our company is based in south of Spain, in Sevilla. Uh, it's a large, uh, we manufacture aluminum profiles, so it's a really large factory. Uh, it's more than 250 workers and we basically we cover the entire process of the aluminum. We get the billets and we convert it, we transform it into profiles. Uh, then we have a uh, powder lacquer in horizontal, then we have a vertical one. It's actually one of the, the, the biggest one in the world. Uh, we also have the thermal break for housing uh, and commercial purposes. So basically you, you, know, you can put the polyamide in between the, the glass and all. Also we have the anodizing plant which is the, the, the first in the world, it's a compact one. It's like uh, with zero, zero contamination, and it's, it's like a real compact. It's a, spe a special one made for us, and it's, uh, it's a unique in the world. And, well, we can process up to 7,000 tons of aluminum per year, and basically we have, like, our company combines two different branches. One is the industrial one. We have industrial customers, uh, we're all over Spain, but we also expand to Europe. We have customers in all over Europe, in France, uh, Germany, Italy, uh, United Kingdom, uh, Scandinavia, well developed in Europe, and now we're expanding to, to America. We have customers in Latin America already, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, but now that's the thing, we want to expand to the US and, and Canada. And then the other part of our company is Galisur, where we manufacture the windows and doors. All you can see here, it comes from, from Galisur. So we make the profiles for Galisur, and also it's our very own series. Last year we made a, an income of uh, 35 million of euros for Prolag, and another 20 with Galisur. So we're talking about a big company of 55 million uh, revenue. Mm, like I say, we're expanding to, the, to America, and that's what we want to do. We want to show the world our systems. This is one of our models, sliding doors, and yeah, it's, as you can see how it works, it's mostly used in residential and commercial purposes. It connects um, the indoors, the inner part of the house with the, with the, if you have a garden or a patio. But basically it's, uh, it's included the, the thermal break, so the temperature won't, if it's cold or hot outside, it won't come inside. It keeps the heat. I mean, we have the, the technical uh, guidance and you can see it has been like proved and with several tests. So, so is it more like for cold countries like Canada or States or you use no. it also in Spain? It doesn't really matter. I mean, it keeps the temperature you have inside, okay, okay. it will keep because mm -hmm. we're from the south of Spain, which is actually really warm. Yeah. So it keeps the, the cold inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm but it, it does the other way around. Okay. And in cold countries, like we also sell it in France, in Denmark, mm -hmm. they're cold countries, so it keeps the cold outside mm -hmm. and the warm inside. Yes, generally they are giving me details here about the lifting moving system. The maximum size available in this system is three meters in height and three meters in width. 
Here is a small thermocouple actually, maximum 20 millimeters, that is very small. Here is a maximum of a single chamber glass unit or some very small double chamber one. And such a not very warm system, not ours there, not Alutec, not Shuka. Normal for Spain, normal for Canada, normal for southern regions. In fact, here in the province of Ontario, where I am in the south of Toronto, the climate is much milder than in Moscow. In winter, it's above zero. Well, it can even be above zero. There is zero, minus five, minus ten max. And people here don't really bother about window heat engineering, but I'm still studying this question. But for now, what I see are not the warmest systems, so to speak. But interesting. Now, I will move her further, ask them questions, inquire, because the first thing that struck me was that she drives very slowly. Well, really tough. I will inquire about the reason for this now. Here's the design she has, you see, with flaps on both sides and such felt seals. These seals are included to create additional friction due to this particular design. In reality, she rides much more tightly than certain comparable systems that belong to us, and I do not appreciate it at all. In fact, she is like that. I wouldn't say that it's super cool or anything. It didn't impress me, but at least we are starting to study something slowly. I comprehend that there exists German hardware GU. Lift and slide, am I correct? Uh, you, yeah, that you. brand is German. Yeah. All right. And when the frame is lowered, it is pressed against it directly by them, right? Here, it rides very slowly, actually. Not yes, because the floor is uh, uneven. Yeah. From below, it appears these two ceiling contours. They are also from below, right? And when the frame is lowered, it is pressed against by them, right? But because of the to be like waterproof to water seal, it needs like an extra pressure. Do they possess the exact same type of frame? We can do it without the frame, just with the rail. You know what I mean? Like no frame. Ah, the only guides can be entirely frameless, correct? And it transpires that it is fastened to the floor with rubber bands, correct? That, that the frame can go under the floor, you know what I mean? So it, it keeps like completely flat. In the identical plane as the floor, I desire to inform you, observe right here, they possess such response components on the sashes. In Russia, we possess a typical response. It protrudes like a peg and it goes into the sash and hooks onto the sash. And the sash has a hook in such openings where this peg enters. And here it is done the other way around. Here, on the contrary, there are mushroom-shaped caps on the leaf and corresponding parts for them on the frame. She, on the contrary, inputs these answers and clings to them. Thus, it's done in the opposite way. They say it's a new solution. Maybe it's not entirely new, but I haven't seen anything similar. This is intriguing in principle. I'm unsure if such a system will fit into any of our standard ones. It is highly improbable. This particular hardware necessitates a specialized frame shape, sash shape, and so forth. In general, that's the system. Let's go further to watch these systems, including warm 42 millimeter thermomosts that are super insulated. They are not represented in Canada, so we will show you what is available. And now we have come to the sliding system. She is also warm with a thermostat. This is something similar to Alumil, such a panoramic one, which has a minimum profile. The double glazed window is embedded into the floor. Vertical profiles are thin. The system is interesting. She also has a height of three and a width of three minutes. Weight, true, 300 kilo. Max single chamber double glazed window. But also not for the coldest regions, but for the southern regions of Russia. In Canada, it will be quite popular here and it looks very interesting. Such beautiful panoramic solutions. We will now take it off in more detail. Let me start by telling you, probably, and then I will ask them questions. In principle, I already have sufficient knowledge to appreciate it. So here we have a frame with stainless steel rollers of that kind. Rides on these rollers, that is, it is not a lift and slide system, it is just sliding, that's how it rolls. The frame is small, here the clean floor fits perfectly, and accordingly, it can be made in one plane. And as you can see, the lower sash doesn't have a profile at all. Somewhere a centimeter sticks out above the frame and that's it. That is, the glass is almost flush with the floor. That is, it is quite panoramic. Vertical profiles are also quite thin, such simple hardware. This is the pen. Here it is, it appears like this. The act of locking is currently taking place. It is an intriguing solution. It seems to be quite convenient in principle. Additionally, she does not have an easy time whatsoever. Apparently, all their systems are running heavily. But basically, it's fine. Vertical profile. 
This is reinforced specifically for wind load perception. She has a width of about 25 millimeters of profiles. So it is quite thin. Well, what can I say? Well, the system is definitely not for Russia, maybe only for the southern regions. In Canada, we'll try to sell. I'll find out the price from them. They say they can easily bring it here from Spain. I will ascertain the price. I will endeavor to offer such a product in this area. Look, examine. Here we will adopt their system. In general, here we have arrived at such systems. They refer to them as guillotines. They are docile. Observe. This is the manner in which it descends. And as for this uppermost one, it descends in a similar fashion as demonstrated. Certain American windows. And they have the ability to be folded. Therefore, here are these types of things. And that is how you can throw it away. Then you can skip the top. The top can also be folded as far as I understood. Here are such hooks. The top also flips back. And she firmly holds on to those scissors. Now we will find out more details about these systems. How would in principle be cool? This is a system that is comprised of only two sashes. And they go up and down like this. Either up or down and they also throw themselves off, and they're not very big. Also, this is probably for some small restaurants or small terraces where there are small openings. In principle, quite an interesting solution. There are drawings here. It is shown that the maximum weight of the sash is 40 kilo, which is very little. The height is 900 millimeters, the width is 1800. It can descend, ascend, or proceed sequentially as demonstrated. This is the description of the dimensions. So it's like small in size. This is without thermal break, cold glazing, no insulation. With a glass unit that has only one chamber or with a single piece of glass, which is very small. Honestly, I do not know where to apply this in Russia. Maybe in Spain or Canada it is popular because it looks very similar to some Canadian windows or in American style, which move like that. Perhaps this will be popular here, but the fact that it is without a thermostat certainly bothers me. I don't know, the climate is not that warm, so it's strange to sell systems without a thermostat. Although they are very common here, and I have seen windows fogging up, completely wet, and somehow people in Canada don't seem to care about it. I no longer see such directly fogged windows in any room. They still have sliding roofs here. I've filmed a video for you in Turkey, showcasing movable winter gardens and pergolas that fold and move specifically bioclimatics with lamellas. In fact, the company is very large and they have a lot of different products. They invited me to Spain to dismantle their factory. I don't know if I'll go or not. Maybe if they pay for my flight, I'll fly over, shoot a more extensive video for you, specifically about what cool products they have because they actually showed me their catalogs. And they have quite interesting and unusual systems there. There is something to see. Well, in principle, I'll find out the price for such sliding ones. I have obtained a price from Turkey. I am actually skilled in driving such things, such as sliding roofs and bioclimatics. No problem, I can bring it from Turkey currently. I will find out the price for their systems. And if anything, I'll also provide. And it turns out they have a solution. Solar panels are constructed on top. Here they are, visible on the sample provided. So these are pergolas, bioclimatic body mills, which have the ability to generate electricity directly. And it's cool, without a doubt. I haven't seen anything quite like this before. It's convenient, in, it's a way from Spain. It's a very sunny country. You can build the pergola and then park your car underneath and you can even, if it's an electric car, you can use it to, to recharge your batteries. I understand that it is possible, for example, if it is located separately from the house, this pergola at some distance, and you want to install lighting, illumination, or have some sockets there, it is not necessary to pull an electrical wire from the house to power it. You can install solar panels like this, and they will be highly autonomous and generate electricity on its own, and you can fully utilize this terrace, pergola, or whatever it is called. It is a very interesting feature. I discovered a rather fascinating product in this area. These loft partitions are very cold. 
Here I examine the diagram. It transpires that there can exist both doors and sliding doors, as well as different small windows in this location. And they enter such a jumper, it's very popular right now. Many people ask me about loft-style partitions. In fact, in Russia, I only know the manufacturer of steel, but it is extremely challenging to locate aluminum ones that are lightweight, airy, can be painted in various colors and are tidy. And these steel ones are still more durable. There are all these welded visible fasteners. Here is very organized. Actually, I really appreciated this cool system. She is quite formidable. And you can make different designs. But these are internal partitions or some completely in warm countries. Purely such windows in such an ancient Renaissance style or I don't know how to call it, but the system is interesting enough and has a lot of different configurations of different filling options in one glass. Even I understand that you can insert some single chamber, small double glazed window, and I like that it can even fold like an accordion. So here is an option for both sliding and accordion folding, as well as simple windows and doors. Well, truly cool system. She is simple, but she, in my opinion, can be extremely popular for internet partitions. So, for individuals who are interested, I am able to determine the price and procure it from Spain. I am uncertain if you can bring it to Russia currently, but it is highly likely that you can somehow bring it. However, it is definitely not a problem to take it to another place. I believe we'll witness another intriguing item at this expo. Therefore, make sure to subscribe to the channel, watch, follow, like, goodbye, and take care, everyone.